Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you four different ways you can cross out text in Word. So let's get started. So the first and very quick way to cross out a word is just to highlight the word you want to cross out and just go up to this icon here, which is the strike through icon and just simply click. And as you can see, your word has been crossed out. If you don't see this icon, then on a PC, if you just choose the small arrow on the lower right hand side, then you'll see a menu appear and it may appear something like this. So if you right click on a Mac and go down to font or you can right click on a PC and then you'll see this dialog box which appears and you need to ensure that strike through is checked and then just click OK. And obviously you can do that with several words at a time or you can just do it with individual words. Now if the line isn't right for you, there's another way that we can do this. If you go up to insert along to shapes and click on the line icon and then just with your cross cursor, then just click at the beginning of the text that you want to cross out, click and drag. If you hold down the shift key, it will ensure that your line is perfectly horizontal and then just let go at the end of your line or the amount of words and text you want to cross out. At the moment my line is a very thin blue line but to change that if I just go up to shape format make sure that's checked. If it doesn't appear it's because you haven't highlighted your line or selected your line. Then you can go along to this icon here and turn it black but there are obviously other options you can choose from. And then go along to the format pane icon at the end here. And then the drop down menu will appear along the right hand side. Make sure you're on the bucket icon and go down to the line section here. Click on the drop down and then go down to width. Now, of course, you can change any of these options if you want to change the look of the line, the thickness of the line, whether it's dotted or um, dashed or a solid line and obviously you can change the colour here as well. But if you're just interested in the width to make that a bit thicker then you can either input the numbers here or you can simply use the arrows to click up or down. And as I click up you can see that the line has changed and has become a little bit thicker. If you want to adjust or slightly move that line then you can use, as it's highlighted at the moment, you can use your arrow keys just to move that line up and down. We just check back on that section and as I move my arrow keys, you can see how I can move that up and down. So the third way I'm going to show you how to cross out text is a slightly more sketchy and artistic way. And that's if you go up to the draw tab and then you can select one of the pens. Then if you click on the drop down here, you can select the different thicknesses of your pen and of course the different colors. Once you're happy, then just go ahead and just freehand and just cross out the words that you want to cross out. So the final way I'm going to show you is to go up to the insert tab, go along to shapes, then go down to this curves shape here. And then once you have your cross icon, then just click and then drag and click again and just click again and what you're doing is creating a slightly wavy line and once you're at the end just double click and you've simply created your line here. Then you can move that line anywhere on your text and again you can move it left or right to increase or decrease the size of it. So once you're happy and you've drawn your line you can again go up and change the colour and again go along to format pane and you can change the thickness of the line as well. The advantages of doing this one opposed to the one above is because this line generally holds its shape whereas if you try to extend this one, if I just click on it, as I extend it and just release you can see it creates a slightly more wavy look to it. So it's just simply about choice and control. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.